Hey, hey you, you want to get an apartment like me in GTA 5? Well, you're going to need a lot of money in order to get that. And probably one of the best ways to get a lot of money in GTA 5 is through heist. And you're probably asking yourself right now, but there's so many heists that we can do in GTA 5. We have so many options to select from. Well, I'm going to tell you exactly what is the best option to get you the most amount of money. So without the further ado, let's jump into it. Now, before I go into this, I'm basing all of this on the final payout of the heist, the total final payout. No, so this is not including how you split it up. So I will also be going over all the price values based upon the hardest difficulty. So just keep that in mind also as we go through this. Because this is how much money you can get. And obviously if you want to get money, you're not going to do it on normal difficulty. You're going to do it on the hardest difficulty. So you can get more money. So I will be basing all the dollar amounts off of the hardest difficulty. Coming in at the worst heist to do as far as final payout is concerned is the Fleesa Bank heist. Coming in at a total payout of $143,750. Now the thing about this heist that makes it but still somewhat appealing to do is that it only needs two players to do you you can do this through your apartment so you don't need to invest too too much money in order to do a fleece of bank heist and it only really takes like 30 minutes to do in total you can probably do it even in under less time so it, I feel like the fleece of bank heist is a little bit deceiving in its own right just because of the low price amount but it's probably the quickest um, heist to do which makes sense for coming in at the at the worst payout but yeah I think the fleece is a bit underrated in my opinion but still at the end of the day it is gonna bring it's gonna come out at, as the worst as the worst pay, paying heist so coming in at the ninth best payout for a heist in GTA 5 is gonna be the prison break heist. The prison break heist as compared to the other three apartment heists that we still haven't covered yet is that this only has four setups in order to do the finale but for from here on out for the apartment heist you are still gonna need four people which is a little bit frustrating to get to gather four people so you'll definitely probably be waiting to get more people in your lobby to do anything but um yeah this heist this heist is pretty fun in my opinion um is this this heist in my opinion is probably better than the next option on this list even though it's very very similar payouts but so overall i don't i don't think this is that bad of a heist coming in as the eighth best payout for a heist in GTA 5 online is going to be the Series A heist. In the Series A heist you get paid $505,000 between four different people. Now why I think the prison break is probably a little bit better to do is obviously that this one, this heist has five different setups you have to do before the finale. Yeah I mean this, I'm not a huge fan of this heist. I, I'm not a big fan I'm not a big fan of it at all just because of the extra, the low payout for five, five setups along with, in my opinion, it's not that great of a story. I mean, it's good to see Trevor, but I feel like Trevor was definitely very forced in this, in this heist. So in my opinion, you should probably stay away from this heist unless it was your first time doing it. But aside from doing it for the first time, I think you should probably stay away from this one overall. Coming in as the seventh best payout in a heist in GTA 5 is going to be the Humane Raids heist. The Humane Raids heist gives a payout of 675,000 per um, split up into four different people. I, I enjoy I enjoy playing this heist just because 
I don't know. It's very, in my opinion, it's pretty similar to the prison break as far as what you kind of have to do. You have two people going in and um, trying to get what you came here for. And um, you have two people in kind of attack choppers trying to limit the amount of police and security that are going in and during the heist. So um, I think this heist is very fun, but I think... As far as the apartment heist, once we get to our final apartment heist that gives you the most payout, I mean, this is probably my second favorite one. I mean, this one's probably really close to the prison break, but I don't know. It gives you a little bit more money, but I don't know. It's still not it's still not as great as the newer options that are that are here in the game now. That, that I'll get into later on. So the Humane Raids heist is coming in at number seven. Coming in at number six is gonna be act one of the Doomsday heist. So this heist is gonna be the first heist you're gonna do as far as the Doomsday scenario, or the Doomsday story. And um, yeah, this is probably my least favorite of the three, but I mean, it kind of makes sense a little bit. You're kind of, really just starting out the story i don't know this heist this heist you have to do a decent amount of killing you um it's a little bit lengthy um i think definitely the other two are better i don't i don't think it'll be um as hard as the uh the highest pick but still it it's just kind of, un this one's more annoying than anything in my opinion. But still, you're just still trying to set up the story of the Doomsday Heist. Coming in at number 5 is going to be the Act 2 of the Doomsday Heist. Now, um, this heist is going to have a total payout of $1,187,500. I forgot to mention in the last Doom Doomsday Heist, with all these Doomsday Heists, you can do it with with anywhere between two and four people. So this this payout is going to be a little bit more, um, it's going to be a little better for your entire group. And obviously you you as your own person will will still be getting more money than, um, than some of these apartment heist but um this this um the act two back into back into act two act two is a little more this is probably the easiest one i was surprised with how easy this heist was but it really this one kind of just really just shows you the turn in the story really but um yeah this heist i think out of all the doomsday heists are probably the easiest one um, to do so if there's probably any doomsday heist you should probably do over and over I in my opinion it's probably this it's probably this one in being act two just because of the ability to do it over and over again versus the highest paying one which is gun which is gonna be incredibly hard to do we'll get into that a little later on but yeah Act 2 is not bad at all. This is probably this is my favorite one of the three. Coming in as the fourth highest paying heist in GTA 5 is going to be the Pacific Standard Heist. This is the highest paying heist as far as the apartment heists are concerned. And this is probably the one that you should probably do over and over again if you're willing to do that. This heist... I remember I used to do this heist over and over again, but this heist is probably the most fun just because you have the ability to rob a bank and you have to somehow get away from the cops. So yeah, this is probably, in my opinion, the most fun heist too as far as the apartment heist to do. With that being said, now some of the doomsday heists that we talked about earlier might pay more just because... Um, just because you have less people in those. In this heist, you need um, four people. As for, as the Doomsday heist, you, you can do it with two people. So, um, yeah, this heist, this heist, though, in my opinion, is a lot of fun. And definitely, I definitely enjoy it.
Coming in as the third highest paying heist in GTA 5 is going to be the final act, Act 3 of the Doomsday Heist with a um, payout of $0.5 million. Now this is probably going to be more better to do for money for yourself is because that you can have the potential to do um, to do this with only two players. But with that being said, this this heist is incredibly hard to do. I have I have an incredibly tough time doing this heist, and it's just really annoying. I I remember doing the hack on it, and the freaking hack on during the finale is so incredibly hard to do for this heist. But I don't know. This if you haven't done it before, then yeah, do it. But, I mean, once you've done it once, you, you'll understand how difficult this heist really is. So, there's definitely no need to do it more than once, in my opinion. This is, this is probably my least favorite heist, to be honest, out of any of these heists. But, yeah, I, I'm just not a fan of this one at all. It's incredibly hard, incredibly annoying. Coming in as the second highest paying heist in GTA 5 is going to be the casino heist. Now with the casino heist this is probably going to be the most fun story of any of these heists and it comes in as number two with um, if you get cash two point um, right around 2.1 million which is very good. Um, you still need to get partner in order to do this one which that's kind of what separates itself from number one but um but yeah this heist is not bad at all i uh, the story's great i mean the three different the, the three different options you can do in order to complete this heist are very very um very very fun to do now obviously if you get other um if you, if you are able to get like diamonds or artwork or something like that as the object you're stealing then you're gonna get more money than 2.1 million but usually it's gonna be cash so you're gonna be getting 2 million and you're gonna have to split that up at least with two people so oh yeah uh, casino heist i enjoy it a lot but as far as money making i think is there's a clear clear winner coming in as the highest paying heist in gta 5 is obviously going to be the kyle perico heist now the kyle perico heist comes out anywhere between nine hundred and ninety thousand and um dollars and 1.43 million dollars of a payout and that's all on hard now the kyle perico heist obviously if you want to make if you want to make um a lot of money very quickly that is that has nothing to do with any um, featured like adversary modes or any featured modes that's gonna be times two money in RP this is by far the way to go you can do this solo so you don't have to rely on anyone you don't have to rely on anyone um, you get to do this pretty quickly because you can if you do this as efficiently as possible you can do it probably around 50 minutes which is very very good as opposed to any of the apartment heist um that probably even with um if you have all four people that's probably gonna take right around um like an hour and 30 between two hours like doomsday and Cayo perico that's gonna take a little longer in itself too probably closer to two to three hours so yeah, this this heist is very good. You can, for as far as making the most amount of money, you can do this over and over again, um, and you can just make a shit ton of money. So I absolutely, I highly recommend doing this this heist if you want to make the most amount of money. So that is all I have today in this video, and these were the top ten paying heist in GTA 5. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you are new and you enjoyed the content. If you want to see more content like this. And yeah, see you later.